Full credit for the research on this topic goes to the people over at the Heroes and Generals forums. Thank you for taking the time to test this and sharing it with us. The War Victory Ribbon, when it's fully leveled up, can reward you with 3 command points in total. Remember that the limit for soldiers is 6 command points, which 4 of them they get by simply ranking up, and the remaining 2 they can acquire from this Ribbon or the opposite. For generals, the limit is 13 command points, which means they can use all the command points they get from ranking up and from this ribbon. Command points are important if you want to build a large army which will reward you with more warfounds and rank XP for your soldiers, as we said in previous guides. Also, having a large army with an impact on the war mode is what gives the game a long term meaning. So, here's a picture which shows how many XP or credits each level needs to unlock. To earn XP for this ribbon you must participate in the war and the faction you play with must win and get the first place. If your faction doesn't win you will get no XP at all. The first way you earn XP is by spawning the soldier you want to get them for at least once in a war battle. Just spawn and get out of the spawn protection just to be sure. It doesn't matter how long you stay in the battle or how many battles you play with him or what class the soldier is. Once the war is over and your faction wins, your soldier will get 4060 XP or 5080 XP with a veteran membership. The second way you earn XP for this ribbon is by using assault teams in active battles. First, equip your soldier or general with assault teams and send them into a city. All it needs to happen now is for this battle to start and be played by players. It doesn't matter if your resources will get consumed or not and it doesn't matter what kind of assault team it is. Each assault team will give your soldier or general 980 XP or 1225 XP if you have a veteran membership. So if you can fit 6 assault teams and you send them, your soldier will get 5880 XP or 7350 XP with a veteran membership. But not only that, if now you unequip your empty assault teams and switch them with some different assault teams, you will get additional XP. For example, if you have 12 assault teams, use 6 and once they get consumed, switch them with the other 6 and in that way you will get double the XP. The more assault teams you have and you can switch, the more XP you will get once the war ends in a victory. Both of these ways, spawning the soldier and sending assault teams, are added together. Thank you for watching and I hope this helped.